Welcome to We Funny AF, formerly the Imperial Eagle Live podcast, same crew, new do. We got the upper echelon, end all, be all, duality, part 108, hold up, available across all streaming services. We still have the same website set up for merch at imperialinkmusic.com. Various t-shirts and masks, and we also have new merch on the way specifically for the podcast, and it's coming soon. So, let's get into this, y'all. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, them Imperial boys is back. Yeah. And of course, you know we had to come back on some new shit. Yeah. Uh, uh. So, without further ado, I welcome you to the We Funny AF Podcast. Yeah. I'm the one and only Figs. I'm with my main man, Biggs. And we about to take you there. Let's go. We funny. This just in. What's up? Uh, Welcome, <laughs> Welcome to We Funny AF. This is a This Just In where I talk about shit with Jarell and he don't give a fuck about. Um, say what's up. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> Boo, why are you booing? That fucking shit. Oh, shit, you insane. Um, We get started. I give you, this was just something that just piqued my interest because I was like, well, I knew how I felt about it, and we'll talk about that, but I don't see what you thought about it. This Grammy, I don't know if you heard about it, this Grammy-nominated gospel singer it sings on a plane. She found out while she was on the, fame, on the plane that she got nominated for a Grammy. Right. And she just starts singing. And the uh, flight, uh, I guess, director comes up to her and is like, okay, you need to be quiet. You need to stop singing. Ain't no, no, you know, he basically was kind of rude to her and told her she needed to stop singing. Uh, said that she uh, it sparked a debate online after she was filmed singing because you can actually find the video of it and uh, despite that the crew member tell, told her to sit down and you know that she'd be quiet what do you think about that situation I kind of can go either way mm-hmm. hey. honestly like does anybody else get the motherfucking sing on the plane? <laughs> <laughs> like, this, this, if somebody just jumped up and started singing on the plane tomorrow, anybody, they gonna tell your ass to shut the fuck up too. We don't do that on this motherfucker. But at the same time, I can understand that she was probably excited, all, over, overjoyed. Yeah. You know what I mean? But and that's that's kind of what I was saying. I was I'm like, sure if she won a Grammy. It was good. Or, well, yeah. yeah she, that's like I said. I I get being excited but you on a plane and not yeah. everybody wants to hear that shit yeah. you know no matter who it was I'm sure if it I was thought somebody, you was going to get into the fact that it was probably a gospel song and you know how people are about well it, that's partially it you know you up there making people listen to the song that you singing and that may not be anything they agree right, with right. you know it would be different mm-hmm. if you was in a whole if the whole plane was full of people who was in the gospel music you know or if the whole plane was like a crew of people that have because i've seen videos like right. where broadway plays are on the plane and they all break it out in the song yeah. but that's the entire production yeah, I, you know, I, i've there. seen other people sing on a plane and stuff but yeah I, you know but but just, at the same time you know some people want to sleep yeah <laughs> some people that's don't want to be bothered ass motherfucking flight man. yeah some people do not want to be bothered you so. see this kid over here i finally got sleep on this motherfucking <laughs> plane and you want to break out and sing <laughs> <laughs> but I, 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 I go either way. Hey, well, I, I, if I was on the plane, I probably wouldn't have said shit. I, I wouldn't probably, have said nothing. I would have enjoyed it. Probably. But I'd have watched them or watch that dude it probably would have it would have probably made me nervous <laughs> like, is, is this the beginning is this bitch singing the song cause they about to motherfucking run our plane into something or something about shit I, I don't know she, and she also used the excuse that uh, God put her up there to do that to sing for people and i keep thinking to myself you can't be pushing your religion on people right, you just right. can't do you can't. that you know and she's but, probably a sweet woman it didn't mean nothing possibly it, either that or she's an egotistic 
a person who's looking for validation from or strangers. That motherfucker was just two. so happy she started singing. Yeah, it like could it be could that be that too. simple. Yeah, it could be that too. But I'm like, that's not the place to do that. <laughs> <laughs> what you think about Andre three thousand coming out with a new album? Have you heard anything about it? No, but I know it's gonna be something crazy. Well let me tell you, I I've been it. That nigga been playing flutes and shit. Yeah, well yeah, there you go. Yeah. It's an eighty seven minute album and there is absolutely no rap, let alone lyrics, on it whatsoever. It's all it's flute playing shit. And I think they said it's more jazz oriented with flutes. Oh, okay. So I'm kind of anxious to hear it to yeah. see what he does because I like Andre. It might be dope, but uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Andre. <laughs> You could I, rap because you a motherfucker on the mic. Well, last time when he did that interview with Rick Rubin, he said he just didn't have nothing to say. You know, he didn't. He not. I guess he was at a loss for words, literally, because he just didn't have anything to say. Now he popped up on that um, uh, Killer Mike album, yeah, and man. he got a Grammy nomination for that oh, shit. Wow. And the verse was dope, man. you know. But I'm thinking, you know. Is everybody ready for uh, this iteration flute, uh, of flute? And, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like flute music. But, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'm running to the store to cop this one. You know, I mean. you know why I want to listen to it? I want to listen to it to see if he can play. I'm sure one. there's some music. I'm sure yeah. it's good. Something good. About and, and that it. was like, my next yeah. thing. And I want to hear if he comes up with something that could be flipped. You know what I mean? Yeah, but you flute music. Hey, I've heard people flip flute music. I mean, Ron, shit. Ron Burgundy is the best flute player I ever seen. Well, I, what Ron Burgundy? Yeah, you know when he pulled that flute out of his arm and played that <laughs> motherfucker at the restaurant. <laughs> He hit that aqua lung. <laughs> I'm thinking. That's dude. what I'm thinking of when you say, if you ain't seen that, then watch Ron Burgundy or uh, watch. Um, uh, uh, the sh- shit. That's, that's Will Ferrell. Yeah. Oh, damn. Yeah, but that nigga. Had, I forgot about that, that scene. That flute, that flute band. <laughs> but I'm just curious because, like, Timberland did a joint. With flutes. With yeah, flutes, yeah. yeah, and flipped it. Yeah. He's done it a couple of times, yeah. you know. So I'm kind of uh, anxious to see what he, what kind of. What kind of vibe he has, and to see if anything can be used in it, because that's fascinating to me. Right. Uh, another one. This one is kind of serious. This this bugged me out. There's a video circulating of a birthday party in Louisiana. Have you heard about this? Huh. And they got toddlers. It's a toddler's birthday, but they got the toddlers holding guns and money, and you know throwing shit around like like they was adults. You know what I mean? And I'm thinking to myself. Why? Why would anybody think that is a smart thing to do, or a funny thing to do, I mean, or a thing to do? <laughs> I know? mean, did you see the video yes. I posted the other day with oh. the, the the kid, uh, the kid rapper? No, that was cussing more than anybody you ever seen. <laughs> no. He can't be no older than five. No, yeah, well, I'll show it to you later. But I mean, somebody thought that was cool to do. Like, yeah, I, I mean, don't understand I, that. I don't either, man. I don't I understand mean. that. What kind of mindset is it? That you think a toddler with a gun and money ghetto is okay. mentality, gang member mentality. I mean, it's just you know, and it's it's some it's of the sad. youth. Some of the youth think that's cute. Yeah, and it's just so 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 disheartening. It's sad. It, it it just really is. It bugged me out. I was I watched the video. And was like, this is insane. Yeah, you, you better know? let the wrong motherfucker see that video, and all your kids is gone. <laughs> They're gonna take every one of your kids away. Let Charleston I'm White see, let Charleston White see that shit. I'm surprised <laughs> that they hadn't taken their kids for that because yeah. that the video is viral. You know, it's all over the place. Well, somebody's so, watching. Yeah, they gotta be. That's that's insane to me though. Uh, what else we got? I got on here. Oh. This was a fucking trip. <laughs> there is a video circulating of this girl, and it's funny because she's in her car, and she has talk, she's talking about how she was eating this sandwich, and she said, but something was, and the whole time she's talking, she's gagging at the same time, so it's kind of funny, and uh, she's talking about how the, the, the texture wasn't right, the consistency wasn't right, and so she held the sandwich up to the, to the, to the camera, and it was a chicken sandwich that was not cooked. Oh yeah, she was. She said, "I done ate half this, y'all," <laughs> and it's it's awful. 
but it's funny. I think yeah. it was a chicken sandwich from Checkers, and it was not cooked. It was uh, it was raw. You oh, could tell it was God. raw. Wow. And I was thinking, girl, you don't collect a check. Mm. <laughs> I go <laughs> into Checkers. Yeah, if you don't collect a check from Checkers for that shit, I suddenly feel ill. <laughs> Take me to the doctor. I wonder if they try to con- contest it by saying that she ate half of it. But my thing is, she was literally in her car in the dark. You know, yeah. a lot of, everybody does that. You know, be eating in the car as they driving or whatever. We shouldn't do that, but still, everybody does that shit. So I'm thinking, yeah. what, what would you? <laughs> There's been times that I've caught some undone meat before. Oh, you for know, real? like on a hamburger or whatever. But you uh-huh. know, I've caught it. Yeah, you know, I didn't necessarily chow down on it, but you know, uh, yeah, like I said, nigga, I, my temperature's going up. I got salmonella. <laughs> Take me to yeah, I'm counting money. <laughs> we about to sue if a motherfucker can sue because the coffee too hot. I'm sure I can sue because the motherfucking chickens are done. <laughs> Pay me, nigga. That's what I said. I was like, yeah, I'd be, I'd be in the bank. I need, <laughs> I need five million for my. I miss work uh-huh. and I need 10 million for emotional damage <laughs> I'll never eat chicken again <laughs> you fuck me up for chicken mm. <laughs> that's funny as shit though I, I, I gotta find a video cause you gotta see it cause the way she's talking and going huh, at the same time is yeah. so funny. Mm-hmm. But at, at least she time, got it on tape too, though. Yeah, yeah. But I feel I still felt bad for her. Mm-hmm. Um, this is the the last thing I had was just random shit. It's like it's uh, it was a article I read that said it's time to own up to the silliest or stupidest things you've ever done. So I want to throw some of these at you and maybe it a jog your memory some dumb shit you've done because I know you've done some dumb shit. Uh, <laughs> one of the things they said on here was this one dude. Uh, walked into two lamp posts in the space of twenty seconds. <laughs> well, I can see that. I probably he wasn't looking up for nothing. Yeah, apparently mm-hmm. not. Have you ever walked into a lamp? Post? Hell yeah! You walked into a lamp post? I don't know about lamp post per se, but uh-huh. I've walked in the shit. Pro- <laughs> probably a, a phone pole, nigga. <laughs> like that, I mean. yeah. uh, Have you ever walked in? I walked into a door. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that you thought was open. open. Yeah. I've done that a few yeah. times. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I don't think I've walked into one. I walked up to doors that I thought were open and tried to push, even though the sign said pool. Uh-huh. Yeah, I've done that. I've done that. <laughs> I have done that, which I think is kind of, it's not bad, but you know, it's not as bad as walking into a pole twice. Uh, what about this? I don't know if we've ever had a situation like this where you forgot your mic is on at work. I've never had a deal with a job that has yeah, a mic me neither. So. me neither. Now I work with people who have had uh, 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 that ha- hear things in their ear because they're doing taking to go orders and shit. Well, I just know and, that if I did have a mic, you was gonna catch a crispy one at some point in time, <laughs> and I forgot because I just say some shit. That's why I was not like, even think about the I, mic being. <laughs> they, I've talked to a couple of people I work with that said that they've heard weird weird shit in the background before but i ain't never experienced that before uh what's another one maybe you put in uh what have you ever put the wrong destination in gps have you ever done that this person actually put the wrong thing in the uh, gps and went three months 300 miles no no i I have fucked up gps or gps is just kind of assumed that was the (laughs) fucking address it had me somewhere that i didn't know Uh but um you know uh, 300 miles i think i know Nine times out of ten, where the fuck I was before I hit three hundred miles. <laughs> oh well, okay. You kind of brought this up before we got on the air, but I'm going to follow through with it because this person said they lost their phone one time and was in a total panic and couldn't find it. And so finally, they turned the phone on on their phone to look for their phone. <laughs> they right. turned the flashlight on their phone to, to look, look for, for their, their phone. phone. Yeah, yeah. I've yeah. never done that. Now, what I have done. Is back when I was living on where I'm well, where I moved back into back in the day when I was living there, I, w- I was watching TV in my room. And you ever just lost a remote? Yes, and you can't find it, have no clue where the remote is whatsoever. I was laying on my bed, you know, and I was looking for the remote and I couldn't find it anywhere, looked everywhere. 
And then finally I did like this and it was on my chest. <laughs> well, that ain't all that bad because maybe you didn't feel it on your chest and you couldn't see it. But No, but that was dumb. But how do you do the shit that I do? It's been some times I've been on the phone talking up a storm to somebody. Uh-huh. And they'd be like, what are you doing? I'd uh-huh. be like, I'm looking for my phone. <laughs> <laughs> and they'd be like, nigga, you talking to me on your phone? And I'd be like, oh. When I get in a hurry, I'd be doing some of the stupidest shit. I've never done yeah. that, but that's funny. <laughs> that's yeah. hilarious. What's this one right here? Making kebabs one time. Wanted to add a piece of chicken. It just came off the grill. Not sure why it didn't occur to it. The skewer wasn't screaming hot. Put the whole piece of chicken in their mouth, close the lips, right around the skewer, and burnt the shit out of their mouth. Wow. <laughs> lips, tongue, uh, skin peeled off of them, and everything. Uh, that's that's pretty rough. Gotta wait for it to cool down a little bit. A little baby. bit, yeah. A little bit, baby. You ever like took a bite of something and it's hot, and then you just kind of like breathe hard to try to get it to cool yeah. off? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's what that just I thought. can't stand when I burn my tongue. Like, it hurts. Uh, uh. But it's it fucks you up the rest of the day. Everything you can't taste shit for a while. Tongue fucking burnt. Just, I hate it, but I have on several yeah. occasions. Oh yeah, I've burnt my tongue before, and it's not pleasant. Uh, this person said they broke their arm once falling off their bed while putting clean sheets on. Lost balance and literally broke their arm falling off of the bed. That's some fucked up luck. I'm like, what? Was, how? <laughs> you know what I, I guess mean? he went to motherfucker put that hard corner on after you got the three on and you try to stretch the four <laughs> and then you fell and fuck this shit up. <laughs> That's all I could think. <laughs> like, you be That's awful too. Could you imagine breaking your arm and having to just literally by yourself breaking your arm, let alone yeah, doing yeah. something stupid and having to explain to niggas? Yeah. <laughs> uh, what would you do? How'd you break your arm, Tim? <laughs> I was making my bed. <laughs> um, this one dude said it when he was a kid. He took a bite out of an old block eraser. Because he thought it was caramel candy. <laughs> well, you used to bite them. In. Are you talking about the erasers that you erase the pencils yeah. with? Yeah. We well, used to bite them in half. Why? We used to chew on them, probably. Why, though? Because well, we was fucking kids. Yeah, but why? I mean, after you do it once, why would you do it over and over again? Nigga, we was kids. Badass kids. <laughs> <laughs> we used to bite the pencil erasers. I don't understand. Well, fucking, what the point of that is? We probably <laughs> ate crayons. What the fuck oh, you talking about? God. We you was kids. Though. Yeah, but I ain't eat no fucking crayons. We ate glue. I, you ate some glue. I, you know what? I never you ate, ate glue. glue, nigga. I never. You a damn liar. You ate, ate some glue. glue. <laughs> you sniffed it too. I never. No, no, no I, I sniffed, sniffed glue. Sniff <laughs> I ain't never eat. ate glue yeah. before once in my life. Nigga, you probably ate some notebook paper just to see what it <laughs> tastes like. Now, my sister, mm. as a kid, when she was a baby, in order to make her ba- be still so her auntie could do her hair, they would give her a book and she'd eat the paper. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Vanessa. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Uh, what else? Um, you know what all that shit tastes like. <laughs> the, the, you, the I, eraser. You I don't know, know what you, none of that you tastes, know what like. That tastes like. I don't know what that tastes like. You tasted that. <laughs> and that glue. Uh, what about this dude said he went to take a piss after cutting some habaneros <laughs> forgetting to wash his hands first yeah buddy <laughs> hey, I hope you shit didn't blister up Blake. <laughs> said it was some horrible pain so oh, I hope. he said it was like getting a blowjob from a salamander oh, I, hope. <laughs> I don't know what that means but okay uh, what's another one? Uh, this dude said he streaked in front of a half a dozen cops making a drug bust, and I don't understand why he was streaking in the first place. It was three a.m. in the city. He was streaking for a bet through some fountains. Oh, that's what it was. It was a bet, and the cops just happened to be there and saw him. I bet you five hundred thousand dollars he was Caucasian. <laughs> Caucasian. <laughs> well, it, tell me how the story ends. 
Uh, it basically says uh, the cops were there, so he didn't say whether he got arrested. Now, I'm pretty sure he did. If it was a nigga, they'd have beat him down. We'd have heard about it. Because <laughs> they'd have thought that, nigga, that nigga's on drugs. <laughs> <laughs> they'd have beat his ass. <laughs> Why the fuck you out here dating? They'd have beat his ass. I'm sorry to be racist, but he'd have got his ass whooped. <laughs> that was invitation to whoop his ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's insane. I, I I don't get the streak. Yeah, there. I don't. I ain't never felt the need to just take my shit off and run naked. <laughs> I don't want to run anyway. <laughs> this dude said he was going down a small incline on his scooter and thought he could just step off and forgot <laughs> that gravity ended up with. Well, he said he forgot about gravity and ended up with both the police and ambulance coming to scene. So he basically. I guess stepped off a moving scooter and just rolled the rest of the way down the street. Call the ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> Call the ambulance. So that's that's insane. This other dude said he got whiplash and a mild concussion after walking into a massive concrete staircase in a shopping center. Said he was staring at his shoe at the time, wondering what the stain on it was. <laughs> get your ass. You got to pay attention. You got to pay attention. Or you can look stupid. That is too funny. Uh, another dude said he got his arm stuck in an automatic car window. <laughs> but he said his other, friend, his other hand was free, but his brain couldn't compute long enough to get his other hand unstuck <laughs> he's a different kind of dumb ain't he because <laughs> that would have been the first thing I did is like you know well first of all my arm ain't gonna get stuck in nobody's window like that because I'm not putting my arm in people's windows like that that's insane to me uh, this dude said he put his thumb on a display car's lighter to see if it was hot after he pressed it <laughs> on a what kind of lighter the uh, uh display car is lighter the, basically a lighter that you press into your car uh, he put his thumb on it to see if it was hot and I bet that motherfucker got rings <laughs> all around that motherfucker I burnt myself with one of those not on purpose but I, you get rings <laughs> <laughs> that shit is hilarious uh, what we got here this dude said when he was 13 he got into his stepdad's homebrew beer while he's watching Aliens. And there's a section where the character Bishop does this thing with the knife. And he decided that he was that was a great thing. So he grabbed the chef's knife and said, hey, check this out. And stuck the, th- the knife right through his hand. <laughs> to me, that sounds like more than homebrew. <laughs> that sounds like you on some other shit to do some dumb shit like that. From just watching a movie. Next. <laughs> I don't have no comment for that. Uh, another dude said he drove with two shot brakes and a leaking brake line, and was uh, grinding for a while, and then it stopped. And he thought it was just one brake, but it was the re- the rear brakes. So I guess he fucked the rest of his car up doing that dumb shit. Uh, what else? When I was 12, I was at the lake with my family. We were jumping off the boat into the cove. I stood on the railing, getting ready to jump off, but I didn't have a great balance, so I'm half standing, crouched on the boat railing, and I push off on the swivel chair. Obviously, the chair moved. I lost balance, tried throwing myself into the water, and only got to the railing. <laughs> the oh. upper half of his body went over and is now uh. in the water. The lower half of his body is above water. His foot somehow got tangled in the boat railing, and now he's hanging by his foot. He couldn't untangle himself. His uncle had to call a fireman to carry him back to the campsite, and his parents drove about 45 minutes to the closest hospital. And, you know, they insisted that he stay at the lake. So he was on crutches for a week at the lake after fucking himself up. Have you ever, like, been on vacation and and got fucked up some kind of way? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. (laughs) I fell. I I fell in the Dominican Republic, and and it was bad. Like, I had to go recover. Like, um, the shoes I had on was not agreeing with the wet concrete that they had around the resort. Oh, shit. And I've said, 
<laughs> Did you fall like on your on back? Con- on concrete. On your back, I think it was or? on my side. Oh, word. Yeah, I mean, shit, Ray and them had to come check on a nigga. Really? Like, I fell. Oh, shit. Yeah, Um, I seen some shit today. Uh-huh. Yeah, no, this is not the same topic, but. That'll work. I seen some shit today mm-hmm. that had me sick. Really? It was just the alligator swimming around in the water with a whole human body. No just, way. Just swimming from, I guess, taking him to where he was about to chomp his ass up. It Word. was like in Saudi Arabia or somewhere crazy. Oh, and, my uh, God. I'll show it to you later. Uh, no, like, I'm good. Yeah, <laughs> he even swam under the bridge with the body. Had him right up under his armpit. Just really? Just pulling him, you know. Was, the dude were they was dead? dead? Yeah, were they already dead? Yeah, he was dead. Okay. Yeah, he was Damn. naked, too, pretty much. Really? So, yeah, you can see the, his ass. Like, oh, shit. Just the alligator just swimming around with the motherfucker like. It's, good God. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Let's yeah. see, I got one more thing. Freak, freaked me out. I bet. Speaking of which, since you brought that up, I saw somebody, uh, a video one time, and I had no idea what I was watching. It just came on. And I think it was on, was it on Facebook? And somebody had it, and they had it. He immediately take it off because it was so fucked up. But it was a guy who was captured, and I think the police were questioning him in a room, but they didn't know he had a gun, and he shot himself. Oh. Yeah, and I was like, holy fucking shit. If I'd have known that's what it was, I wouldn't have watched it because I cannot get that out of my head now. Well, I've seen a couple of them bad ones, boy. I've seen this one dude fucked around and got in a tiger in, in the closure. Really? And this motherfucking tiger picked him up. And carried him back there to the woods like he was a fucking little bitty rag doll. Yeah. And, and he was lunch, I would say. Yeah, yeah dead. <laughs> say he was lunch. Dead, that's, dead, uh, dead. That's what they, what, Carol Baskins? Is that her mm, name? Carol Baskins. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, hey, she knows all about that. Husband stabbed him. Yeah. That's how the song goes. <laughs> <laughs> that's about right. This last one, they said this was a few months ago. A uh, 27 year old lived on the outskirts of town at a farmhouse type of setup. And sometimes uh, they store grain in a space that's out the kitchen because it's a rural area. They get field mice every so often. He oh. says his dog was chasing a small mouse one day and he had just finished the second season of Yellow Jackets. Have you, do you know what Yellow Jackets is? Uh, it's a TV show? Yeah, one of the girls on Yellow Jackets has a. Uh, pet mouse uh-huh. the show is about cannibalism it's really bizarre uh-huh. it's fucked up but anyway he said he also loved disney movies for some reason he thought he could pick up this wild creature and make a little f- friend like uh like a disney princess in a disney movie <laughs> he picked it up and immediately turned around and bit him luckily the bite fell on the side of his fingertip so it didn't break the skin but it definitely hurt a lot he said uh someone who people often describe as overly cautious and practical so He's not sure what prompted him to do that dumb shit. I personally ain't fucking with any kind of animals that I don't know nothing about. If it's not my dog or the cat well, I or somebody else's dog that I know, I'm not messing with it. Uh, and that's the nigger in you. <laughs> but there's the other side. What's the other <laughs> side? White people. <laughs> uh, people they, they chase down... It's just amazing. My girl, for one, she'll uh-huh. chase down any fucking animal she see. It is a snake. A really? Fucking like yeah. chase it down. Yeah. Ooh, like, there's a snake. I gotta catch it and then get it and, and try like, to catch yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. That's with normal shit. Handed? That's normal shit. The fuck is normal. wrong with her? <laughs> that's, that's, that's normal shit. Like I uh-huh. mean, to some people, people love just catching salamanders, all kinds of shit. Well, look, just, it depends. Just, I'm not uh, fucking with nobody's snakes. I'm, I'm not, not can see. catching nothing. <laughs> But I didn't motherfucker have anything to do with it. I ain't trying to see no possums, no raccoons. Y'all keep all that shit. Niggas getting yeah, yeah, monkeys yeah. and shit nowadays. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm not doing I, none I, of I that. joke. I want a monkey, but no, I don't want a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> like I be, so like I be, I'm good with a dog or something domesticated. Yeah, y'all got me. that. Like. Fuck it. Leave that frog alone. He wasn't fucking with you. The only thing I've ever done is at work, they we've in on the back dock where the dumpsters and stuff are, we get little creatures every so often. We have like uh lizards and shit like that. 
uh, we've had mice, but we always set traps and we catch them. I don't so fuck with mice. I, I don't, don't fuck with them either. Them. But we had a uh, one time we had a lizard get stuck on a glue trap, and you freed it. Yeah, I did. Oh, I went and freed it. Now, you know, and I didn't even have to touch it to do it. All I had to do was put oil on it, yeah. and it freed itself. Tur- turtles is cute than a motherfucker, but, but every I time I yeah, see I one, I don't pick it the fuck up. Hell no. <laughs> I let it be. I leave yeah. it the fuck up. They like to bite. Yeah. Well, <laughs> but, you know, that's fight or flight with animals. They will fuck you up oh, in order to get away. look at this turtle. Then they run and pick it up and say, oh, he's got his head in there. Then they sit it back down. Like, fuck that. Like, you seen a video? Videos of people that do like crocodile wranglers or whatever it is they have in Florida, where they be fucking with them alligators and shit. I used to watch them shows. They, but have you seen the ones where they actually do shows? They do shows where they have these live. I guess it's oh yeah, where they they play with them. And yeah, I've seen niggas get. Yeah, and I'm like, what is wrong with you? That animal yeah. don't want to fuck with we you. Put their <laughs> like hand that. in their mouth and yeah. shit. Yeah, come back with a nub. You and what's do cool that about that shit. is, is because you can, but if, yeah, but they have a sensor in yes. their mouth, and yeah. if one piece of sweat or anything drops <laughs> on their tongue, that's your motherfucking arm. Yeah, that's you know stupid. I, mean? I think yeah. that's the dumbest shit. I never shit understood in the world. it. I never understood why them niggas did circuses with lions and shit. <laughs> I be watching all them shows where they be getting ate up. They don't do that no more though. They yeah. they they banned uh, mm-hmm. live animals in shows unless mm-hmm. it's something like a dog, you know, dog training shit. Yeah. But tigers, lions, mm-hmm. elephants, you ain't gonna see none of that yeah. in circuses no more. Yeah. <laughs> Too many people's getting fucked up. Yeah, which I'm like, what do they think? They're wild animals. They always had the. the they yeah. always have it in them to, to kill to do some crazy shit. Monkey ass. <laughs> exactly. So, <yeah. laughs> so why would you try make it to- be sweet for two thousand six hundred and sixty six <laughs> days? <laughs> but on that two thousand six hundred and sixty seventh <laughs> day, that's your ass. Bye, <laughs> <laughs> nigga. Like, you gonna be lunch? Yeah. That shit is insane. But yeah, yo, this was this just in for this week. So. Yeah. We'll see y'all on Thursday. Uh, so we'll holler. Chase snakes. <laughs>